All right. Viewer from Wilmer wants, what the, wants to have the panel tell us something about the governor's proposal for a 50-foot land buffer around wetlands. Uh, let's start with you. Sure. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I believe it's uh, one rod now on each side of a, a drainage ditch. 16 and a half feet, right? Yep. Something like yep. that. Yep, yes, 16 and a half feet, something. And uh, so, uh, and the governor made a statement at uh, the Minnesota Roundtable a few weeks ago. Uh, that he believes that it sh we should extend that out to 50 feet on each side of uh, uh, ditches, uh, rivers, streams, lakes, etc. And uh, that's, I, I think it's uh, pretty crazy to do something like that. I know that there's a lot of folks that want to do it, uh, uh, environmental folks and uh, uh, maybe some hunting groups and things like that. But uh, there was a deal made a couple of years ago to make it the um, one rod on each side of drainage ditches, and I think this kind of uh, destroys that deal that was made. Um, so uh, uh, I think this, I see this more as a uh, taking, uh, more of a uh, property rights issue, and I think that there's a lot of farmers that are very, very upset about this, and uh, uh, I don't see a proposal coming forward. I haven't seen anything yet. Uh, of course, we don't see any of the governor's bills yet. It's getting pretty late. Uh, we're getting up against uh, our first deadlines here pretty soon. And uh, still, the legislature has not seen one bill from the administration or any of the departments yet. And I think that's pretty sad. But uh, so there might be something in some of his proposals somewhere, uh, but uh, I have not seen any individual bills coming forward to say that we're going to uh, move this to 50 feet on each side of uh, waterways. Senator? Well, I think what this brings forth is the enforcement issue. Uh, you know, I agree with with uh, Representative Hackbarth. Sixteen and a half feet is probably adequate, except that's not what happens, uh, and uh, and it's it's because we don't have a good enforcement system. Uh, you know, if you if you put it on the local units of government, they're they're constantly trying to enforce this on their neighbors. I mean, I'm, we're all in, in, involved in local government sooner or later. If you want to go to um, uh, and what we probably should be then doing is is uh, going to to uh, air photos or whatever, but the fact is 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 uh, as with everything else, about ninety percent, five percent of the farmers are doing what they're supposed to be doing and putting the sixteen and a half foot buffer out there, and the, and the, and the five percent that are ruining it for all the rest uh, take a foot every year, and pretty soon they're practically in the river. You know, it's. And so uh, I, I do think it's an enforcement issue more than it is uh, raising it from 16 to 50. Representative Lee? You know, I, I don't have a lot to add to, to this issue. Um, I think uh, uh, Representative Hackbarth and Senator Saxog summed it up pretty well. Um, you know, I guess I would just listen to both sides of the argument, you know, the DNR, the environmental folks, the farmers and the landowners. and. Um, you know, try to strike that balance as we need to do really with any issue. Uh, if I could just add, um, Senator Saxog, you're absolutely right. It is a uh, uh, an enforcement issue. But when I first heard about this at the at the DNR roundtable, uh, what I said is, yeah, it is an enforcement issue. But who's going to pay for it? I mean, who's going to pay for that enforcement? Who's going to go out and and measure to make sure that it's 50 feet? Uh, how are you going to uh, regulate this thing? Who's going to pay for it? That's what I want to know. How are you going to pay to regulate it? Uh, are you going to uh, pay farmers to keep it 50 feet back from each side of a ditch? That's 100 feet. I mean, think of the amount of uh, crops that you're going to lose. Uh, some, in my area, we have a lot of sod farms, and the, the farms aren't that large, but they do have drainage ditches running right through the middle of their farms. And to give up 100 feet on each side of a drainage ditch is insane. I mean, that just gives... 50 feet on each side for a total of 100 feet. A total of 100 feet. I'm sorry, did I say it wrong? But you, you doubled it. Oh, I, I didn't mean that. <laughs> 50 feet on each side is 100 feet, and that's that's horrible. I mean, that gives up a lot of acreage. Now, is the government going to reimburse these folks? I don't think so. That's not what they're going to do. They're just going to make it a law, and then we're going to have to regulate it. I mean, it's costing money. Uh, everywhere you look at that, it's just foolishness. Foolish. Well, well non-point source pollution is with us. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm no ultra environmentalist, but th there's very little question. You look at the Minnesota River and its tributaries, the non-point source pollution is there. Uh, you know, we produce uh, egg products second to none in the state of Minnesota. The things we do to raise it uh, um, cause pollution, you've got to have a buffer. 
the buffer is the simple, natural way to do it. It's not shut down the farms. Mm -hmm. And so, as I say, I think I, I think it's enforcement. I think one of our problems is is that we've we've put it on the local units of government, and and uh, and it's. I haven't ever had to go talk to a farmer, uh, and because I don't live in that part of the country. But uh, for local units of government to go enforce on one of their own is not an easy thing, I'm sure. But we do have we do have the sixteen or the one rod on each side. We now. do have one rod, yep. and if it's enforced, I yep. think it's probably adequate. Excellent.